everyone, so my little Lumatic Girls here today, and today we'll be doing a review on the Creative Mates, oh, that just went dark, um, the Creative Mates Colour Bands, this is in the colour black, um, we're going to be comparing these to the Rainbow Moon Rubber Bands, this is just a pack that comes with the Rainbow Moon, so yeah, we're going to be comparing these two, yeah, that I'm actually quite sick, so, um, if I do cough, I'm extremely, extremely sorry. So, let's jump right into the review. Um, before we start, can I, now this video was requested by this girl on Instagram. I'll just insert her now, like her username. Go give her a follow. She's amazing. So, yeah, let's just jump right in. <laughs> so, move on the out of the way. This is Creative Mates. Okay, let's open these up. I actually don't need black bands, but in here, let's like, just, um, let's do a little mini opening, opening, um, we have some S-clips, the bands, a band just rolled off the table, we have a instruction manual, um, I'm gonna hold up there, so if you want to read it, you can go pause it now. So that's that and then we have a pretty durable hook now I don't have the plastic hook with me but I do have the metal hook with me now it's like they wanting to focus okay so if we align these hooks they have about the same tip um this one also bends in, but not as much as a metal tip talk. This one holds rubber bands, but they're more likely to slip off. Because the crevice, the hole isn't that big. This one's big. It's metal tipped. But <coughs> if I was comparing it to the plastic one, probably similar. We move up. This one's so much shorter. Doesn't have a, does not have a base remover. At the same time, the Linecraft board does not have a base it's a full base, um, and I can probably just snap this in half right now. Not really snap this in half, but, um, oh, I just snapped it in half. So, this is snappable. If you were to snap it high tension, you could definitely snap this hook. Now, I was not prepared for it to snap, but looks like we just ruined ourselves a hook. Um, so this hook is dead. Um, let's just move that out of the way. This, however, is unstoppable. No matter how. It's just leaving marks in my hand. I'm not trying to... It's not snapping, so... So let's just pour a bit of the bands out here. Now, I feel like these stick together. Um, if you can't tell. In the package. They're stuck together. All of these are stuck together as you can see they're stuck together so they're not that good let's open up the rainbow band they are not stuck together they're really free i'm sorry for people who hate the rustling of carb um, not cardboard plastic but they're not stuck together so let's take one here let's check your different colors so you don't get them mixed up this is the rainbow Moon one i'm gonna stretch this far so the size of these, this has been already stretched. This has not been stretched. Let's get one that hasn't been stretched. Okay, so the size of these, this one's evidently larger. Um, these aren't cut finely. This one's cut finely. These aren't, as you can tell. Um, but rainbow loom bands can stretch this much. Oh, I just flicked a rubber band on myself. Good going. Um, stretchiness. Wow, the craft band can stretch a lot. If I put my finger here, that's so much more stretchier. Look at that. Um, keep in mind, this is a Rainbow Moon one. This is the Linkraft one. That's so much stretchier. 
Now we know the stretchiness of these bands. Um, let's see if they lose their shape. So this one has lost its shape already. This is the Rainbow Moon one. This one has not lost this shape. It's a bit bigger, but it's not as big as the Rainbow Moon one, as you can tell. Um, so the Rainbow Moon ones do lose their shape a bit easier. These ones, however, the Rainbow Moon ones, if you go like this, they don't crumble. Well, this one did when I was like full on. But if you go like a little bit, no, they, the most they do is this. This one, however, doesn't crumble. So, like, so these are a great option if you can't find Rainbow Moon rubber bands. Now, let me go back and get my paper here. Um, what I really do like about the Link Cross bands, <coughs> they smell and they contain traces of latex. As you can tell. So, these, oh wow, those smell really bad. The Rainbow Moon ones don't smell. Let's take my lube in here. Everything's out of focus. Okay, there we go. Now, the Rainbow Moon ones, once again, this is the most it can stretch up to. It probably can stretch a whole loom, but I'm. this is probably the most you will do. Let's take a Linkcraft rubber band. Scared I'm gonna fling it at myself. Can definitely go to where the rainbow loom rubber band goes. But once you start stretching, these ones are a bit harder to stretch. Whereas these are really easy to stretch. I'm scared I'm gonna fling it at myself. Definitely stretch one more, two more. At the most. So these do stretch more. I could definitely stretch this one more as well. This one's probably the most I can stretch it out. We can stretch it more. Um, but all, but keep in mind that if it's um, <coughs> not all like just because it's stretchy doesn't make it good. If that makes sense, it could be stretchy, but it could be really, really, really easy to break. So we're gonna let them sit here for a while. Um. So yeah, they don't stick together, they don't, the Rainbow Moon ones don't stick together, these ones stick together, like hell. Um, these are $3, the Rainbow Moon bands are $2.49, but we get them here for $4, so these are definitely a cheaper alternative, except they only come with a pack of 300 the Rainbow Moon ones here come with five, 600 so these are more expensive, but if you can't buy Rainbow Moon and you're absolutely desperate for high quality bands, Definitely check out the Linkcraft Creative Mates brand. So, I'm going to take these off the balloon now and see how much these have lost its shape. So, this is the Linkcraft bed. It came off like this. And this is the Rainbow Moon bed that came off like this. So, we can tell how much... It's been past the tension point. So this bubble band is huge. We, I have absolutely no use of it now. So yeah, you can tell that... <coughs> of course, these are high quality. Even though it's that big, it's not breaking. Um, the Linkcraft ones would break. So yeah, so that is our Linkcraft band review. I'm sorry if this review was all over the places. This is actually our first review, so comment down below of what we can improve of, and we'll see you guys in our next loom tutorial. And um, can I just say our inverted fishtail bracelet was filmed in a hurry, so I'm sorry if a lot of you guys <coughs> saw like a lot of background stuff. We couldn't film it that fast because, like the citrus bracelet, we were in a rush, and um, I actually didn't film this the inverted fishtail. I actually created the thumbnail for that one. I created the thumbnail. I actually make the thumbnails for all of our tutorials and all of our, all of the thumbnails are made by me. But um for what I know of she was in a hurry, she had to go somewhere. Um and like um can I just say please no hate. 
we have tried our best. I know we haven't uploaded on Sunday like we usually promise, but it's actually really hard for us to upload. So, um, we'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye, guys!